Hey, happy Friday. Happy afternoon, everybody. I wanted to jump on here today and clear up some information about registration for convention. So you might be saying convention. What is that? I don't know what the CHAP convention is. I've never been to the CHAP convention. Can you tell me what that is? Well, if you've ever heard about convention and you don't know anyone who's ever gone, I will tell you this. It is a large gathering of homeschoolers throughout the state and even from other states. We have folks come in from all the surrounding states and even from as far away as Tennessee and Texas to come in and go to convention. Um, convention is a gathering of speakers and vendors and obviously homeschoolers who come together. Uh, the vendors share their curricula and their other products to help homeschoolers along in their homeschooling journey. And the speakers come and give us the much needed encouragement and um, connection and uh, information we need to continue on and to be encouraged in what we're doing. Uh, speakers cover many different topics. Every year it tends to be different. Sometimes we do have some similar things that are talked over every year, like um, like I'm doing a getting started talk and I had a, to comply with the law talk and we do those pretty much every year. So, um, but there are other speakers coming in this year. Our keynote is Rick Green this year. And we also, ha also have Dr. Kathy Cook coming in from Celebrate Kids on Friday of the convention. So we're really excited um, to have them in this year in our convention. Uh, if you don't know about the two of them, you've never heard of them before, I will be doing interviews with them on Chat My Chap in the coming weeks, so do not miss Chat My Chap on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. You can get to meet some of the folks that will be there. But I just want to get on today and explain some things because there have been a lot of questions about registration, a lot of confusion, and I would like to clear some of those things up for you. So for those of you who have never been to convention, that's what convention is. There's speakers there running for the two days. There's a vendor hall that's open. You can go talk to vendors and check out their stuff. Uh, we have some giveaways that happen. The, the chap, we have a booth there too. So you can come talk to us and ask us your questions or step up there to volunteer. Uh, and there is a teen track and it's done by Generation jo Joshua again this year. And they're doing the I Negotiate um class last year it was I advocate so this year they're doing I negotiate which I believe is kind of like the United Nations it's like international uh, political type stuff so that is what the teen track is all about this year so that is what convention is what's going to be at convention you can see if you the, you see the link there conv.chaponline.com you can go there and you can check out all the vendors who specifically is going to be there and we are continually adding vendors daily as they respond to the registration we have invited all of our previous vendors from past uh, conventions to come back um, and if you don't see them on the list it's because they have not responded or maybe they're waiting to decide if they can fit it in their schedule I don't know but um, we are continually adding new vendors the speaker grid is is locked in what you see as speakers is what's going to be there and the little asterisks that's beside the names on some of them those are vendors who are sharing about their product so you can understand those too so that's what's going on there again you can go to conv.chaponline.com to check that out and also to register so let me talk a little bit about registration and how registration works so right now registration opened last week or so the 15th um we have early bird pricing until the end of the month. So that's till February 28th. So you have until what, Tuesday? To get the early bird pricing, everything's a little bit cheaper if you sign up now before next Tuesday. So we do have a graphic that we sent out on the e-news and it's also posted on our um, page here on Facebook. If you scroll back, you will find it. So we have adult pricing. That's every adult that comes pays $45 at early bird. Uh, regular pricing is 50 and then if you come at the door it's 55 uh, shopping only pass if you don't want to go listen to any of the speakers and you only want to come to shop you can get a pass early bird pricing is $30 um, after early bird that's March through roughly the end of April will be $35 and then at the door will be $40 we have a thing called parents of preschoolers that is if 
and I might not get exact. There is on the registration when you go click register here, it does explain exactly on the page who qualifies as a parent of a preschooler. I know one of the qualifications is that you've never been to convention before. And obviously the second one would be that you have only preschool children, like your oldest child is preschool and not in school yet. So um, you'd want to check that out. Uh, if you're a pop and you want to like, what on earth is going on with homeschooling? I want to know more. I want to see what this is like. You can come in for a cheaper rate, um, but only if you've never been here and only if all of your children are under school age. So that's $23 early bird, 26 regular and 28 at the door. So, and then for Teen Track, there is a cost for Teen Track um, to do the Generation Joshua program. It's a very, very good program, and you can count it towards school, civics, um, history, however you want to call it, humanities. Uh, the early bird price for it is $45, and the regular pricing starting at the beginning of March is $50. And you cannot go to Teen Track at the door, you cannot go and choose it at the door because. Gen J has to prepare their materials beforehand and they need to know an exact count. So if your teens are considering going or you want your teens to go, make sure you sign up and register online so that you're sure that they can get in. Now here's the deal with signing up for Teen Track. And I know some of you guys know about uh, selling books as a, at the used curriculum sale. We do have that again this year. And volunteers, we know people who like to volunteer. If you volunteer, uh, for a um, four-hour shift at convention, you do get your uh, early bird price refunded to you. So you get $45 back refunded to you if you work a volunteer shift. Now, if you walk in at the door and it costs $55 and you volunteer and you get $45 back, obviously it's not going to cover all of your registration, but it covers most of it. Uh, but if you want to sign up for a uh, to be a volunteer, um, these three things, Volunteer, Teen Track, and UCS, you cannot do um, until you have registered for the convention itself. There's been much confusion. There were a few links available out on our web page that was not supposed to be available, and people were like registering to be volunteers before they actually registered for the event, and that you're not supposed to be able to do that. So I'm telling you, if you were one of those people who got to volunteer for registration or Teen Track somehow without actually registering for convention, you need to go back and register for convention. We have since fixed that issue and you can't get to those. But if you're wondering where it is, say you're going through the registration process and you're like, well, I want to send my kid to Teen Track. Where's the option on the registration? Or uh, I want to volunteer. I don't know where the um, link is to, to choose my volunteer slot. Or I want to sell books at the UCS. You have to you have to register for convention first. And once you register and pay for the adults, then you will get a confirmation email and in that confirmation email, there will be links for you to go sign up to be a volunteer and to go sign up for Teen Track and to go sign up to be a used curriculum seller. So you will not get the opportunity to choose any of those three things until you actually register for a convention first. So I wanted to clear the air on that. That seemed to be a little confusing for people. Again, the registration fees are only for adults. Children are free. So and then there was questions about that too. Well, my one child's 12 and the other one's 14. Do I pay for the 14 year old? But nothing. Okay. It's not restaurant adults. <laughs> um, restaurant adults, like at a restaurant, your child is considered an adult at 13, right? You got to pay the adult price for things. That's not the case here. If your child the whole way through high school is a student, you have a student living at home in, in your house. Someone even asked me about my freshman and college age person, if they're living at home as a student, they don't have a job, they're not a young parent at home, whatever, um, they are a student and they can come for free. Um, if you are a young parent, you would pay as an adult. If you are a um, young married couple, Without children yet, and you're just coming to, to learn things, you would pay as an adult. So that the kind so adults pay, children don't pay. So even your senior high students who just want to come look at colleges, they don't have to pay. It's just mom and dad, uh, adults, any adult, grandma, grandpa, they come, they have to pay. Children are free, any age, children are free. So if your teen does not want to go to teen track, but they want to come with you to talk to colleges or whatever else, they would be free. If your teen comes with you but wants to go to Teen Track, 
then they have to pay $45 early bird or $50 regular pricing to come and participate in Generation Joshua. So, so the only time you need to pay for a teen is if they're going to be doing the teen track with Generation Joshua, which will go Friday and Saturday. will be both days. Okay, so again, to review, adults, only adults, all children are free. You will only get an opportunity to sign up as a volunteer or to go to the teen track or to be a used curriculum seller after you register to go to the convention. You will get an email that says, oh, hey, you registered for convention. Here's some other options now. And then you can sign up for those op options separately. So yes, that does mean you would have two transactions, one to pay uh, if you're doing teen track, one to pay for the adults, and then a separate one to pay for the teen track because you're paying separately at separate times. So um, I just want to clear the air on some of those things. Hopefully that answers the questions. Tuesday on Chat with Chap when I come back, I'm going to be answering a whole slew of questions. Some of these will be included in that whole bunch of questions regarding um, convention. It's pretty much going to be a convention episode where, where I answer your questions. But if you have more in the meantime, please post them here. Um, use our contact form at chaponline.com or inbox me here on Facebook uh, and I will answer your registration questions or any of your questions really on Chat with Chat this coming um, Tuesday at 11 o'clock. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this cleared the air for you. Share it with others who aren't sure about what's going on with registration or what convention even is. But I encourage you if you've never come and if you have come, come back. It's so good to be encouraged and to be together. Um, to see the vendors, to see the speakers, and we're going to have really great speakers this year. So um, you, you don't regret it. it. It's not, you don't regret coming. Is it tiring? Absolutely, because you're walking around, you're on your feet. It's a whole lot of information, but it, it's encouraging. You're with other homeschoolers. It gives you the courage and the gusto to continue on for next year. So come and experience it. Uh, say hi to us at the, at the chat booth, and um, we will be seeing you on Tuesday. Chat and chat. All right. Have a great weekend. Bye.